Hi guys, so today I am actually on vacation. I'm probably having fun, I hope. I'm actually recording this before I leave. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I got another video up while I'm gone so I could go ahead and upload it while I'm out there and having fun, but <laughs> I didn't wanna leave my channel hanging without any content. So I figured I'd go ahead and get something up and get it going and have something that I can upload. But this one is just a really quick little piece that I did for something else and then I ended up missing the deadline, so I couldn't enter for it. It was this really little contest thing. Anyways, so in the end, I feel like it doesn't quite look exactly like my style, or I made some design choices that I think I really wouldn't have or shouldn't have. So I guess that was kind of helpful to kind of see how I acted when I had a prompt and to be able to see what I need to do to fix it so that I can stay true to my artistic sensibilities, I guess, and the way that I go about creating art. Um, doing freelance stuff and doing commissions is something that I definitely plan on doing very soon in the future. Um, I am going to school as an illustrator, so my plans are to be able to do that sort of work and to continue on with that. So this was this pretty good little crash course to kind of see how I would treat a prompt and how I would create artwork for a client and I think that it really showed me that there's a lot of things that I need to work on things that I need to get better at being able to like I said stay true to my style and how I would create an image and that's the thing is when you have clients coming to you for your work because they want you to produce it it's because they like your work so I need to make sure that I'm sticking true to how I really would go about creating an image and I think for this one, some of the mistakes I think that I made was um, I gave her this like giant tiger tattoo with some of these like strawberries around it. I feel like if I was naturally going to be designing this type of tattoo, I would have placed it on her body a little bit better. But because that was kind of a big part of the prompt, I felt like it needed to be a lot bigger and more in your face, I guess. So I feel like in the end, that really wasn't placed the best. I feel like I could have done a little bit better of a job in making it look more seamless and natural on her figure as opposed to something that looks a little bit more slapped on. So that's one of those things. Um, also, I went about drawing it kind of weirdly. I had a certain ratio in mind that I thought it was supposed to be and then I realized I wanted to do it bigger so that I could have a little bit more bleed and cut off. So that's why I started drawing without her eyes there or any of the top of her head. And that was just really weird. I should have sketched it out starting from that point anyways, even if I was planning on cropping it off later. So I, I kind of feel like I've learned my lesson as far as that is that I need to be really careful about composition and drawing it so that it's accurate. I feel like because I started with the bottom of her face, the top side of her head and pretty much all of her face wasn't very accurate or proportional anymore because I didn't base it off of each other. So yeah, I won't do that again. That was kind of a, a very strange way that I decided to do it, but I don't know. You live and you learn. I do think though, having this prompt really helped with my color theory. Um, this kind of set of colors and this look is something that I never would have just kind of thought on my own but because there were specific things that needed to be in the picture and a certain mood, it led me to kind of think through this and end up with this color scheme. And I really do like it. So I feel like the more that I'm pushed in my boundaries, especially in color, the more I feel like I have something to draw from, the more I'm able to integrate that into other pieces that I'm creating. And I feel like that's color specifically is something that I'm really realizing lately. I I like a certain type of color that I haven't really experimented before. I'm realizing that I kind of like these more bright, saturated images that also have really dark elements in them. And I'm starting to realize that that's kind of the shape that I'd like my colors to look from now on. And that's pretty exciting to feel like, oh, I finally come in touch with something that I think was always a little bit off in my other images where they didn't quite feel like mine. And now I think I'm a little bit more on track with figuring it out. And by no means do I think that the color for this particular piece is like representative of me and where I want to go with that, but it is showing me what direction I want to go in and where I want to figure that all out. So 
in the end, I think that was really helpful. I benefited a lot from that. So in the end, I definitely think this piece is a little bit different from where I want my style to go. And that's okay. It shows me what stuff won't work for me and I don't particularly care for. And that just helps me be able to create a stronger portfolio with each wrong piece that I do. So that's exciting. I feel like I definitely learned a lot from this piece. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can catch all my future art videos. And until then, I will see you at my next one. Bye.